Afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your update. RSV season is typically in fall and winter, but the virus has already started to see an increase in southern Arkansas. Babies, toddlers, and older adults are most at risk, but they have greater protection now than ever. NBC 10's J.W. Mechmeiser explains. RSV is something you've probably been hearing a lot about lately, a viral infection once thought to only affect infants. The virus is on a rise in South Arkansas and is now affecting our elders. Sure, so RSV or respiratory syncytial virus is a common respiratory virus that causes the common cold in most people. So common in fact that most people are infected before the age of two. Um, it's spread by respiratory droplets, so small pieces of spit that get ejected when you cough or sneeze. And in addition to directly infecting people, it can sit on uh, hard surfaces and actually infect them for a matter of hours. So touching that and then touching your face can get you sick. Dr. Riley tells me that symptoms can include cough, congestion, sore throat, headache, and fever. Infants can experience irritability, lethargy, poor feeding, and difficulty breathing. Symptoms can last 7 to 14 days. And antibiotics do not help in any way, shape, or form because it is a virus. So folks over age 60 are at risk. Um, and the other group that's at risk is kids under the age of two because they haven't seen it yet. Um, kids at risk of, or people at risk of severe disease include those under the age of six months, those who were born with um, heart or lung defects or musculoskeletal diseases like muscular dystrophy, as well as those with immunocompromising conditions like cancer. There's a recently approved FDA vaccine for people over the age of 60, as well as for pregnant women between the ages uh, or between uh, 32 and 36 weeks of gestation to protect their unborn baby. Um, as far as the pediatric group, there's a brand new medication called Bayfortis, which actually isn't a vaccine, it's a preventative medication that can help kids from getting the disorder. Um, it's not available yet, but you can check with the Department of Health when that comes in. Vaccines are currently available at the South Arkansas Regional Hospital. Visit myarkalmist.com to learn more about the vaccine as well as measures that you can take to either prevent or ease the symptoms of RSV. Reporting in El Dorado for your Arkalmist news source, I'm J.W. Meisenheimer. Thank you, J.W. New developments in the legal battle over clemency trials for Louisiana's death row inmates. A settlement has been reached between the state's district attorneys and the Board of Pardons. And Governor John Bell Edwards urged the parole board to reduce the death sentences to life for 56 inmates. East Baton Rouge District Attorney Hiller Moore says the settlement is a win for crime victims' families. The DA says only 10 of those 56 inmates will be able to appeal. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Definitely keep the umbrella and rain gear handy for this afternoon as we'll continue to see more chances for some showers and thunderstorms by 4 and 5 o'clock. But most of the area around Camden, El Dorado, and northwestern sections of the Arkhamus will continue to see a little bit more clearing. But we can still see a chance for a lingering shower or two once we hit 9, 10 o'clock tonight. But as we go into early tomorrow morning, we're going to start to see clouds start clearing out. Winds start to move more so out of the north. We'll have a secondary fall boundary that will push in tomorrow. It's going to be mostly dry, though. But that's what's going to allow those to really start falling down to the lower sediments as we head towards this weekend, making it feel a bit more like fall, and we'll continue to see mostly clear skies and plenty of sunshine. Spending a day to five, eight degrees for this afternoon, shower thunderstorms still remain possible with rain chance still mainly at 70%, and tonight they kind of drop off, but still couldn't rule them out, about 20% chance for rain, as we'll see lows reaching to the mid-60s with a low of 66 degrees here in Monroe. And for tomorrow, we'll see plenty of sunshine, temperatures still going to be in the lower 80s, but we'll have a secondary funnel system that will push in and because of that that's the temperature is going to drop to the lower 70s Saturday and Sunday so it's going to be pretty nice for this weekend it's going to feel like fall but next week on Columbus Day we start going back up to the lower 80s and then by Tuesday and Wednesday we'll see some clouds return and temperatures warming back up to the mid 80s lows will be mainly mid 50s and upper 50s through next week. And that's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily will be continuing now. Lots to do this weekend. Get out and vote. Early voting continues. Also, the fair here uh, in, in Louisiana. And get up to El Dorado for the Music Fest. Lots going on there. Take care of each other. Be kind. Take care of your pets. God bless you.